Hey guys, um, I know it's been a while. I have not made any kind of uh, game testing videos. Um, that is because of NVIDIA. They are to blame because their update messed my recording system up and a lot of people have been having issues with that. However, I will just talk about that in just a bit. Um, just wanted to make this uh, video here of a um, four months review of the laptop. It's been about four months since I have the laptop now. Now I know I have a ton of bloatware here that I use and a lot of people will say that I should delete that, but a lot of it is for my work as well, besides the gaming stuff, of course. Um, and uh, one thing I want to say is a lot of people were saying that um, the laptop would start getting uh, like, you know, the thermals will start failing and the laptop will start getting hot in the future as well as I keep on playing games. Now, one thing I want to show you guys is my hard drive is almost full. Like my two terabytes is almost full by now. My SSD, I just uh, emptied some like, you know, bunch of stuff that I didn't need anymore from there. Um, but surprisingly, my laptop, it does not um it does not slow down and it has not yet um so it has not yet shown me any signs of like uh, failing thermals or anything like that um my um my gpu my cpu temperature and my gpu temperature still say about the stay about the same as they were and i don't even use cooler boost anymore to be honest only if I'm gaming for like more than two to three hours and that is like a heavy game like Red Dead Redemption or something that is when I might I just might use cooler boost other than that everything has been fine my keys and everything has been fine though I have noticed here you guys can see on the S it um the little light up you guys see that so the S of the S and the D right there they just um like you know like it, it's just like the text on it just kind of um i don't know what happened like the the paint just came off or something but these are the only two keys i had any kind of problems with my mouse pad has been fine there has been no problem the clicks the buttons are still as crisp as they used to be um of course the sticker is coming out but whatever we don't care about the sticker um i don't i have not heard any kind of weird noises out of the laptop or anything like that um i try to keep my desktop top clean oh yeah by the way this is a throwback to the older the wallpaper that i first had when i got the laptop right just thought i should do a throwback to the wallpaper as well okay so getting back to the point um for me the laptop has worked quite well the microphone that i use is still like i use those headphones when i'm gaming so i still use the laptop's own uh, microphone that would be right here somewhere underneath that for um gaming conversation and my voice is uh, crisp and clear no one says that is bad no one says that they can't hear me or any kind of problem like that so everything has been good so far now one thing i want help from you guys uh is that um if you guys can recommend a good game recording software, please don't say OBS. I hate it. It's bad to use. I hate it. It's not good at all. If you guys can like, I, I did install uh, Troy, a Total War Saga as well. I wanted to do a game review of that. I wanted to do a game review of For Honor as well. And um, as soon as I get another software on which I can record uh, videos better, Please, please suggest some good video, good video softwares. I'll download one. I'll test it. If it works, if it's good, I'll uh, um, I'll keep on recording more games, and I will also buy a flight simulator as well and do a test for that too. So please, guys, let me know of any softwares if you can um, to record the games, and please make sure that do record in full HD or even 1440p, and uh, that'll be a huge help. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, keep the subscriber sub the subscriptions coming to the channel. And for sure, let me know about the software. I have to do Troy. I have to do For Honor. I have to do um, Assassin's Creed when it comes out, and I will for sure do Flight Simulator as well. Cheers, guys.